Hello everyone. Welcome to my fall 2019 home tour. I know I'm very late in getting this out. I really debated about whether to do one or not, but a couple of my subscribers had really requested it, so here I am. I really appreciate you guys. <clears throat> this is my entrance foyer wall. <clears throat> I love those pumpkin stems there that we got from the dollar store. I love how cozy this table looks at nighttime with all the candles burning. That welcome friend sign there came from Dollar General. And there I am looking like a hot mess today. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> One of these days I'll put my face on the camera. The sign here, I made this this summer. I just um, bought a pack of stencils and you can buy boards and have them cut any length you want. And just um, two bottles of paint there, two different colors. <clears throat> the lantern comes on at nighttime. It's on a timer. Looks really pretty. And then here into my living room. <clears throat> I have had a cold here recently. I love how this corner cabinet looks each, each season, how you decorate it different ways. And here I have a wooden crate as my little end table here just to put a lamp on for some light on this end of the couch. This metal tin I got on uh, clearance at Hobby Lobby this summer. And all these picks are just kind of stuck in there. <clears throat> Over here on the sofa I have a new pillow that come from it's a cover you know of course that comes from amazon bring in some buffalo check in here i do that uh, the plates and the leaf fine up there i do that like every year i think it looks really pretty on that plate rack my daughter is in that room there doing her school work This is a picture of my son there. <clears throat> and over here, <clears throat> I um, did this um, chalkboard sign there. There's always something to be thankful for. I got the Buffalo Check um, throw off Amazon. That pillow cover there came from Amazon as well. And I did this last year where I took the grapevine wreath apart and strung it across the mantle like that. It looked so pretty last year. <clears throat> and I did it again this year. I'm trying to back up to get my light turned on. Let's see if that helps. Anyway, here at the bottom. I worked this year on getting rid of so much red in the house like every it seemed like everything was red and so um this chair uh, that was painted red so i spray painted that a different color now some of my red pieces i did keep you know like this lantern and the little stool and um <clears throat> this blessings jar right there is red i mean it's okay to have some red accents i didn't want to get rid of it all but I just tried to add in some, you know, more beiges and some black with um, black, black from the, from the pillows that I got. And I think the fireplace looks really pretty and cozy. It's one of my dogs right there, Angel. That's where she stays. I'm going to do a black footstool cover for that black I guess. Over here in this corner, 
change the cover on the footstool there. This is another Amazon pillow. This is how I did my corner over here. That plaid charger came from um, Michael's, I think a couple of years ago. And this is the first year that this table is in here. Uh, Christmas time, my dad made me a new uh, sofa table, which is in my foyer hall. And so I, I wasn't sure what to do with this one. So I thought, hmm, this is a good place for it. So it's been nice to decorate that this year down there. Um, getting into the window is hard to see. I just threw some fall picks and florals in that white container that came from Walmart. And this is my beautiful daughter. And this little Hey Pumpkin sign there, um, you buy those unfinished at AC Moore for $1 and I stained it and I, then I painted the little um, middle Hey Pumpkin thing in there. I saw a Hey Pumpkin um, sign at Michael's this year and I thought, well, hey, I have some of those little things. I can paint that myself. And I did. This is another Amazon pillow cover. And I always have this greenery and these little yellow flowers in my birdcage on this, on this big tall pedestal in the corner. And every fall I, I um, stick in some leaf, you know, fall leaf picks. I'm missing one. Yep, one fell on the floor. <clears throat> anyway, and I put this pretty bow at the top. And this is just some short um, leaf vines, you know, from the dollar store and such. Just strong, you know, just kind of tucked into each corner of that picture there. But it looks pretty in the in the corner, the whole corner. And my shelf up here above the TV that my dad helped me put together. I love how that turned out. Again, there's those my favorite little pumpkin stems. And just some greenery and, and leaves. I really <clears throat> like how that came out up there. Looks really pretty. It's one of my favorite things. I sit over at the love seat and watch TV so I can look have this look up and have this you know see all this pretty, you know, the prettiness on the shelves and everything. This is how I'm on top of my TV stand. I burn a tea light in that. At nighttime, it looks pretty. And in this little corner here is this crock my mom gave me for Christmas a couple of years ago. And it just keeps that, I keep the greenery in it. And so I just, again, I just stuck some fall leaf stems in it. Those ones came from Walmart. This little pumpkin patch sign. I don't remember where I got that. I've had it for many, many years. And again, just as on this is the sofa side of the wall. And my coffee table this year, I added a buffalo check towel, tea towel. And then I set this kind of wood tray thing here. And um, I kind of created this little riser thing right there. The little round piece came from AC Moore and they're like less than a dollar. And so did the piece underneath it. And you just glue them together and I painted them and it's just, it's like a little riser. So works out great. Looks great. <clears throat> but that looks nice and cozy at nighttime too when the lights are off. Okay. So now we will head into the dining room. Right here is something new. My dad um, always finds good stuff on the side of the road. <laughs> he found these chairs. There's two chairs here in my dining room. And this pedestal, there were two pedestals. I think the table, the top part of the table was messed up. So he just took the pedestals. And now we have turned it into like a birdcage holder. And it looks really pretty. I like how 
this turned out too. I think this was just cute. I, kept, I just kept this little birdhouse in there and I stuck in some little pumpkins and such. I love pet berries and I just, this is a vine. I never did um, open it up. I just kind of sat it there, pick, you know, made them kind of stand up a little bit and, and set this candle thing in the middle of it. I love how that looks. Kind of rustic country, I guess. <clears throat> and here, these are some old, like the bottom black one is a uh, family Bible. And this one is, um, this book here, I think was my husband's father's book. And so they're just um, holding up this thing here. Down here, I have just a couple pumpkins in the crate. And over here on this wall, I did this faith sign there, just a thin board and the st used the stencils. And that came out pretty. I got this, the hooks came from Hobby Lobby and then the basket was from AC Moore and the greenery was from Hobby Lobby. And this um, metal tin came from Michael's. Just trying to add a splash of the black and white buffalo check here and there. Try not to go too overboard with it because my curtains are actually that too. And so I wanted to do overkill. But I think it looks pretty. This is the hutch. And uh, the greenery stays up there all year. And I just stick the um, fall leaves in it. And... Um, for spring and summer, I have a different um, vine with some white flowers um, running across that um, sign there and with fairy lights running through it. And so I just take that off for fall and put in fall leaf vine. And the same thing on this side. I have a metal container I got from at home, and the greenery there came from Hobby Lobby as well. And this is how I did this here. Another piece of the Buffalo Check fabric. I just turned this crock upside down, actually, and just kind of used it as like a little, a little table. And here are my built-ins. Those are my children. Getting a little bit of glare from the window there. I have all the windows open today. It's a beautiful day here in Virginia. Not too chilly. Still feels a little fall-like outside. Um, this is how I did this buffet area back here. It's hard to see, but it's really looks really pretty. I'm trying to get the best lighting in there. I think it's probably best to see it <clears throat> probably from the side, I guess, a side view. I had this large arrangement in there last year, and this year I added these kind of the burnt orange, red orangey berry pick things. I got those on clearance at AC Moore for 50 cents a stem, and I bought like every one they had because they were so pretty, and I've used them on, in all my arrangements. Adds a lot of oomph to it, you know. And the curtains. That's my beautiful daughter. Pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. <clears throat> my son there when he graduated high school.
That's my niece and nephew. I love them. <clears throat> and today is my mom's birthday, so this is a little something for her. Um, we've, uh, let me see how to explain this well. I bought this little wooden jar from Michael's a couple years ago, and then the summer I had my dad cut out shapes like it. this one's a little bit taller because we used the whole width of the board and then I started um, painting my own this one here I made um, yesterday for my for my sister-in-law so you can see it without the glare of the window of the uh, um, chandelier so and this is what they start out looking like and this is what after I painted it I did one for my mom that said up about um, our family's apple butter I made another one of these for my friend in red because she has red accents in her home. <clears throat> but I think they're really cute. And this right here, I got this idea from, I think it's the Painted South. She has such a um, calming, beautiful voice. Anyway, so she had done a, a an abundant harvest basket, she called it, in her kitchen. And I thought, oh, it was so pretty. And she used a lot of, like, greenery and vegetables and stuff. Well, I used um, pumpkins and fall leaves and such. I love how this turned out, my little dough bowl. That is the apple butter sign. One of the others that I made yesterday. That one is actually for my uncle for his birthday. He's one of our like patriarchs of the family that has been participating in our family making the apple butter for many, many years. So that is for him. And this is my corner over here. I got a new Scentsy pot. Love that. Thank you for my friend who got it for me half price. <clears throat> this greenery wreath here stays up all year, but I just stuck a, a Pitberry thing in it and kind of spread it out and that looks really good there. I really like how that, that corner comes out, turned out looking. <clears throat> and then my shelf above the doorway, let me see if I can get up there and see. I have these things. That's pretty high up there. <laughs> and then just these baskets on top of the fridge. And then coming over here into this corner. This is just my little cozy, cozy corner, but it's always hard to film it because it's uh, just a dark corner. But I have this happy fall tea towel there and this little um, I think a turkey. I was think, what is that turkey sitting there? In our treat jars. People treats and Gracie treats and angel treats. Gracie and Angel are our dogs. Gracie, of course, is our big dog. She's a big uh, black lab. And then Angel is the little small white dog in there. So everybody has treats. <sighs> like I said, it's my mom's birthday. And she requested Philly cheesesteak subs for her birthday dinner. So I'm getting ready to start cooking here when I'm finished with this. Okay, and this is above the stove. This is another si another jar I painted. Nothing like home cooking. And um, I saw that saying on, um, I think, 
tradition by the season in the back. She had that in her one of her hutches. And so I made that. I thought it was so cute. I copied her sign. And these tall jars here, my friend, I think um, her sister-in-law maybe, or somebody in their husband's family makes these, and so she buys them. They're, they have fairy lights in them, and so at nighttime you can turn on and the, and the jar glows. It's really cute. Look at that little Count Your Blessings jar at Family Dollar of all places. And this thankful for you is another one that that um, one dollar sign things from AC Moore. <clears throat> they start out looking like that when you purchase them, and then it's a dollar, and then you can do whatever you want to with it. And that's for fall. This is what I did with it. And this is my two tier tray that was from. I think was it Dollar General last year? Happy fall, y'all. And here are my corner cabinet shelves. That was a printable I got from a site. Um, a site. Who is it? I forgot the name of the site. It says Have a Sweet Day. And it's candy corn. So I kind of copied what was in the picture with the jar of candy corn there. And this wall here, right beside that. Here's more of those um, berry picks in this arrangement here. I think that looks really pretty. I love these. Um, I guess they're kind of like a felt type pumpkins. They look really cute in this container. This is a black and white check um, placemat I got. I picked up at Walmart. It was sitting on a just a random shelf, and I walked by and I was like, "Oh my goodness!" I grabbed it. <laughs> in this <clears throat> farmers market um, thing here, I kind of did it like as if I had been to a farmers market. You know, there's a bag of pears that my sister-in-law gave me, and two jars of our family apple butter that we made. And then the back is a, just a jar of beans with the ribbon on the back of there. Um, so I thought that looked really cute. So to kind of pan around in here. This is the chairs that um, my dad found on the side of the road, which is such a, a deal. Just, they're so pretty, you know. And um, it was, you know, the wood stain, of course, and then they had an ugly, old, dirty cushion on it. And so we stripped it and, and I painted them white to match my table and put the black and white check fabric on there, the same fabric as my curtains. And they just look gorgeous. I have, there's two of them. And they're really large chairs too, so I have to put them in the middle of the table. They're too wide to go on the ends of the table in here. And panning around. There's one more thing I wanted to show. I can't remember if I showed it or not. <clears throat> This um, tin here is a tin bucket, and there's a handle that goes up, and I just stuck all these um, picks and florals and all that in there. Made this arrangement for the back of the door here, and put this um, checked ribbon on there, and it looks really, really pretty on the back of our door. And so anyway, so I want to tell everybody, 
hope everybody has fun at the pumpkin patches and I know a lot of people are already getting geared up and ready to do Christmas stuff and Christmas shopping and Christmas DIYs and all that and my family certainly is thinking about that as well we're trying to plan out our Christmas craft that we do as a family together we're, we're looking around getting ideas for that and and um, Thanksgiving is coming and just all kinds of fun fall stuff to do so May everybody be blessed and happy fall, y'all.